um, that I'm not looking at 2020. And, and in fact, I'm, I'm completely ruling that out. Um, not going to do that. Uh, no matter what, win or lose, you're not going to run in win 2020. Win or lose, I, I'm, not, I'm not running in, in 2020. Um, I, I got to tell you, it, it's, it, it's incredibly flattering that anyone would ask me the question or that, that that's even um, up, up for discussion. But, but since people have asked, the answer is no. You didn't sidestep that. No. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Beto O'Rourke throwing his name in the hat to become the Democratic presidential candidate going into 2020 to try and face off against Trump. Now, as you just saw, for a long time, he was saying, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to sit here with my family and just become a family again, raise my young kids, all this, that, and the third. But that is not the case. And I knew it. These guys, they lie all the time. Oh, I'm not going to run. Just like Oprah. Oprah says, oh, I'm not going to run. I never do it. But don't count her out. I put her in my list of, you know, top candidates for the Democratic Party to become president or to try and become president and fail. But I put her at the top. People were saying in the comments, oh, she said she wasn't going to run. She's not going to do it. That means nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. They can say whatever they want to say, but I don't believe anything until it actually happens or it doesn't happen. And here we are. He's running for president. Now, Beto O'Rourke, his real name is Robert Francis O'Rourke. He is not, I repeat, he is not Hispanic. You may think he is because of his nickname, Beto, and because he's from El Paso, Texas, which is like 85 to 90 percent Hispanic city, but he is not Hispanic. And that's kind of important because the Democratic Party is all about identity. They are not going to vote for a white man again to be the president. It's not going to happen. And when I say they, I'm talking about the Democratic Party, those that align themselves with Democrats. It's not going to work. The Democratic Party for years and years and years now has been saying white men are bad, white men are trash, the white male patriarchy. White male this, white male this. It, everything has been against white males. When the whole thing happened with the Covington High School kids, you saw Nick Sammy wearing his MAGA hat and automatically the left and the right dog piled on him. Because why? Because he is a white male with a MAGA hat on. Instantly, he has to be the villain. So how are you going to have all this negative energy towards white males over the past, I don't know how many years, and then say, well, we're going to run a white male to become president of the United States. It's just not going to work out, which is why they have Kamala Harris and Cory Booker in the wings. They've been grooming them for years and years and years. Cory Booker was on Oprah's show back in 2012. I think he was the mayor of Newark at the time. He might not have even been a senator at the time. So you got to ask yourself, why is this random guy from Jersey talking to Oprah? It's because they were grooming him to become the president. They wanted him to be out there in high profile places to get name and face recognition because they know, OK, we got Obama for four years. How are we going to follow that up with our next candidate that we put out there? Barack Obama is seen as black, although he's mixed. That's a different story. And I digress for now. He's seen as black. He has a black wife, black kids. He's pretty young, charismatic. How are you going to follow that up with a 70 year old white woman, a 75 or 74 year old white male, a 78 year old white male, or even a young white male? That's even worse. You know, the young white males have more animosity directed towards them than the older white males. In my humble opinion, just like Nick Sandman, 16 years old, he was seen as a demon. You see what I'm saying? So it's just not really going to work out based upon what the Democrats have been putting out there into the world for a very long time now. But beyond that, Beto is not really ready. You can't even beat Ted Cruz in your own home state. Ted Cruz is from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Beto is from El Paso. I think he was born and raised in El Paso, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. If wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. But he's from El Paso. He represents El Paso, but he can't even win Texas. So if you can't beat Ted Cruz, who lost to Trump during the primary, how are you going to beat Trump as the incumbent in the general. It makes no sense. I think he's doing this because he wants to get more name recognition. 
to put himself out there more. So when you do a presidential campaign, you're going to be on television. You're going to have a higher profile as a result of this. He probably knows that he can't win, you know, so he could just, you know, sell it to his wife like that. It's like, OK, I'm going to do this. Like I said, I was not. Or maybe he was telling us that and then telling her something different. That's a different story. But either way, let's just say he told his wife, I'm not going to run. Then he says, well, I am going to run now. He could sell it to her by saying, you know what? We're not really going to win. So I'm not going to D.C. and being in the White House. I'll be still right here doing my thing as normal. But check it out. I can raise my profile. I can become more popular. People will know who I am after I do this. OK, that might be the whole game here, because nowadays it's all about Instagram uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, it's about social media, it's about engagement and, you know, name recognition, it's about all of that kind of stuff. So even if you don't win, it's good for marketing. The same thing they said Trump was trying to do during a presidential campaign, Beto can actually do, because unlike Beto, Trump was somebody before he ran for president, okay, he was somebody before he came out on a political scene. Beto may need to do what Trump did as far as running and becoming very popular, even if he doesn't win, it can still help him. So that might be the end game here. But I'm interested to see who's going to be the actual candidate. I think it's going to be Kamala Harris because Cory Booker, he's black. Yes, but he's a male. And I thought men are trash according to the Democratic Party. Men are trash. The patriarchy is trash. So you got to have a woman. The future is a female. I've seen the future. It's female. All this that and that. You know, you got the women's marches. You got all kind of stuff going on. Women's History Month. You got the movie that just came out. Captain Marvel. It was garbage, but at least it was pro-woman, right? So Kamala Harris will fit right into that. She has demons in the closet, and so does Cory Booker. I'm not really sure about Beto. I agree that we need a single payer Medicare for all legislation. And law enforcement, I think it is an apt description, the new Jim Crow. There's a, a drunk driving conviction. Recently, the police reports came out and they showed that he uh, tried to leave the scene of the accident. And he flatly said, I did not try to leave the scene of the accident. I, I did not try to leave the scene of the accident. The witness actually had to prevent him from leaving the scene of the accident. This is existential. Whether the world as we know it today is going to make it. Would you take the wall down now? Here. Yes. Like you have a wall. Absolutely. Like, That's pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, as I close, I want to say this. Beto O'Rourke, yeah, another name in the clown car. I don't even know how many people in there right now. You got like 30 people that have announced or may announce pretty soon. It's too many people. Most of them are going to be out within the next, I say, six months. It's going to be a wrap. You know, you're pretty much going to be looking at Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. You know, they're talking about Joe Biden. He may run. He doesn't have a chance. Too old, white male. It ain't going to work. Uh, Elizabeth Warren. Fake Indian, white female, it ain't going to work. Oh, also, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, nobody knows who that is. Doesn't really have any kind of, you know, hook to get you in there. I saw her do a town hall, and she had on a lay. It was like, okay, I know you're Hawaiian, and that's fine, but we're in Austin, Texas right now at South by Southwest. Why are you wearing a lay? Do Hawaiians wear lays wherever they go? I don't know, but I digress. It's going to be interesting to see all these people try to defeat Trump. It ain't really going to work. I think their best bet will be all these fraudulent investigations going on, which ain't nothing but an impeachment by a different name without the proper authority to do so. So that's all I got. What say you? Do you think that Beto O'Rourke has a chance? Um, what dirt will come out about him? I know, aside from him being a white male, he's also possibly a furry. He has this band, and I'll place a picture on the screen before you, of him in a furry type of costume. Okay, you want to be a band, that's fine. I'm not really hating on that, but why must you wear this furry-looking outfit? I'm not judging. I'm just trying to get some clarity and figure out what's really going on with that. If I'm going to vote for a president, I would not want them to be a furry on the side. Just be a man all the time when we find. But does he have a chance of winning? Does he have zero chance to even get in the nomination, let alone defeating Trump? Who is going to be the actual person that runs against Trump? And do you think anybody has a legitimate chance of winning? How about anybody that has not announced yet? Oprah, Michelle Obama, possibly? Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share. 
and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.